Welcome to another introductory tutorial from the Bellwood Public Library. This time we're going to take a look at Ancestry Library Edition. You can find it the same way we found the other um, services that we have under our online resources section. This time we're actually going through history and genealogy down to the second box, which has Ancestry Library Edition. This first link here actually will not work outside of the library. This link uh, is something that Ancestry provides for in-library use only. However, with the recent pandemic, they have a, a, um, provided a link for outside library access, which is this link right here for outside the library. Go ahead and click right there. And this is what comes up. You just put in your library card number, hit submit, and it'll be taken to the Ancestry homepage. Ancestry Library Edition is the world's largest online family history resource. You can use Ancestry yourself to do genealogy research into your own family. Ancestry um, uses census information, um, voter information, vital records like birth, marriage, and death records, um, military records, immigration and travel as well. It's all available on Ancestry. The information is also not limited to only those from the United States. There are countries like the United Kingdom, Canada, Mexico, Spain, and others that um, have provided their records to Ancestry, and so those are also available. So um, we just wanted to search. I'm going to stick with all categories for now <clears throat> to, do our, to do a demonstration, and I'm going to use a historic figure. Uh, I'm going to do Harold Washington, if I can spell that, okay. So just Harold for the first name, last name Washington. You can mark that these are exact. In this case, I do know that they're exact. But um, if I were doing, uh, you know, a search on, an, on a family member I did not know much information about, wasn't sure on the exact spelling of their name, you could you could leave it um, as as a more broad interpretation of how you would possibly spell their name if you're not positive on it. Did you know he lived in Illinois? You could limit it as well to Chicago, but we'll keep it we'll keep it at just Illinois. But I will show you are able to put in the full Chicago um, as an option. For the purposes of this, I do want to keep it just a little bit broader um, since we are imagining that this may be someone we in our family that we don't know too much about. Um, we do know his birth year, so we'll put that in as well. Then we can just go ahead and hit search. So once you're done with your search, you'll see this first option right here are our search filters. At any time you can edit your search, do a new search, or change any of these parameters from being a more broad to being the exact spelling or year of the record that you want to see. Same thing down here, you have your different options for what categories you want to see. If you know your relative spent time in one of these, you know, on a different country or a different continent, you could see the records based on that as well. And we'll go up to the top to actually what our records are. Now there are quite a few records here, but right away we've got Harold Washington, being born in Cook, Illinois on this date. So all you'll get for the birth index is really just the information that uh, of the record that someone was born. They, they, um, there are genealogical records at, at the county level that you can um, request. And depending on what county it is, you can uh, potentially get those records from the county is what you would have to do at that point. Um, but even the second record right here, it's again, Harold Washington, we've got that birth date and that name, same thing. So this is actually going to be his draft card. This is another thing that Ancestry has available. We have here all the different text for what is on that card. Um, right here, we have an option to send the document. If we just click on that, we have an option for email addresses. You can put the same exact email address both times. If you're just sending it to yourself, that's that's not a problem. And right here, we can just go ahead and click view on that image. We've got options right here, plus and minus on that zoom, so you can see it a little better. 
um, right here we've got again all that information if you're if you're having trouble actually reading the text and this little tool button will pop out for you to print download share and you have that email option or if there's any other if the colors are uh, not working or you need to rotate the image or something like that you can do that as well from here and you just keep pressing the back button that's available and it'll keep taking you back to your results um, so like I said if if uh, if you're doing some research on a family member that you don't know a lot about trying to trace your family back Ancestry is a good place to start if, with whatever information you do know. Uh, we recommend starting with a family member you, you know the most information about as far back as you can go and, and starting from there, trying to find things like uh, the census information. Um, if I can find that. Let's click on census really quick so you can see that. Uh, 1940 census in Chicago. We've got Harold Washington, born in 1922. So we're going to click on that. So this is what the census information will look like from then. If you if you do uh, choose any of the census information, they are very, very vital for genealogical resource. Uh, lots of people use them to find information on their family members. And here in, in uh, green, it's actually got highlighted for us. I'll zoom in a little bit more so we can see, but it's actually got highlighted for us uh, right over here. We've got Washington. This is their name. This is Roy. He's the head. And then these are, this is the wife and these are the children. And right here is Harold, who was 18 at the time. Uh, so here's their record. Uh, in, in the 1940 census, their, their response. Okay. So that's just a little bit of an example of the different things you can find um, on, on uh, Ancestry Library Edition. We hope that uh, some of you will find some really exciting information about your family that you never knew before. Happy searching.